the Feed the Future Innovation Lab for Crop Improvement is a unique program that's trying to use science and technology to serve a public good that ensures food security. We work with our national partners to ask, how do we use the latest agricultural innovations to really have maximum social impact? How can we breed more nutritious crops that are more resilient to climate change, bring more young people into agriculture, and really contribute to gender equality goals? We are so honored for the work that we do with Cornell University, with ILSI. The help from our partners is fundamental. Together as a team, we want to contribute to the improved socioeconomic status of the smallholder farmers by addressing specific needs that the farmers want, like disease resistance, pest resistance, and many other things. This center was established basically to address the issue of malnutrition so the people can get well-adapted varieties of crops to feed their family. In the community here, we take sorghum as the food basket. And if you want to escape from famine, sorghum should be your past priority. National institutions lead all of the work that we do, from choosing the crops of focus to the tools, technologies, and methods, the communities to work in, and the crop breeding goals. Our job is really as a support structure to help them achieve those research goals. The laboratory of biology molecular, we are working on the part or the component of genomics. Nuestros objetivos están muy enfocados a lo que es la resistencia a altas temperaturas y la resistencia a sequía, porque son dos condiciones que se ven favorecidas por el cambio climático. The idea is to use physiological breeding, uh, find some traits that are correlated with the traits of interest, so we can breed fast, breed effectively, make more genetic gain in a shorter time. Farmers already are asking for the new varieties and the availability of these seeds to help us increase their productivity. So we are very proud on what we already achieved. The program is an extensive, complex system that requires input from experts in a bunch of different fields, ranging from plant sciences through economics through social sciences. We think about social impact through the lens of cross-cutting issues. Those are gender equality, youth inclusion, nutrition, and resilience. If we want to have any impact on poverty, any impact on food security, we can't really do that without addressing the core issue of gender inequality. More than 50% of farmers in the rural uh, communities are women, and we are making a holistic approach towards a breeding program. One where social scientists and natural scientists are working together for an innovative cause. This will inform our colleagues who are producing breeding varieties that are context-specific and gender and youth-inclusive. Ubale watu ndo alangizu, ulipo pata kumandima mvura ngara amene yote mata wata mangira alangizu, ula atuuzo, ulipo vuru ili kuzo tani na umandu ndi wanyi dama ta kuruza, utabanji muta banga mazao kuti, ndiri mwona kusinta, ulipo furu kuzi alangizu. We are reaching a point that we can start to show results, not only to the scientific community that we work with, but also to the farmers that are the main goal of our work here in Costa Rica and in the region. The younger generation that we are building their capacity will be able to carry on, will be able to bring new ideas into the system and build the whole center where it can serve globally.